welcome to the third installment of our fun series, Identifying Functional Groups. So this video will consist of functional groups in compounds that have been made using 3D structures. And I will show the compounds, and then I will pause for a little bit to give you time to identify them. So I'm not telling you which functional groups you will see in this video. That will be up to you to decide. But before we get to showing the groups, I'm going to show you each of the different uh, atoms. So the black guy here, this one is carbon. This is hydrogen. This is chlorine. This is nitrogen. This is oxygen. This is sulfur. And the two connectors that you see here, these are the guys that will make our bonds. All right, so our first structure. What functional groups do you see? If you said alkene, you would be correct, the double bond in between the two carbons. Remember, the single bonded carbons, alkanes, those are not considered functional groups. All right, on to our second structure. If you've noticed the triple bond there, this is our alkyne. So there is the one functional group in this structure. All right, on to our third one. If you said uh, acyl halide, you were correct. There is our uh, chlorine, and remember this chlorine could have other, could be replaced with other halogens, and it would still be the same functional group. All right, this is our fourth structure. If you see two functional groups here, you would be correct. The benzene ring here is our um, aromatic ring, and then we have our yellow guy here is our sulfur, so then we have our sulfur functional group, which is our uh, thio um, ether. And this is our next one. So for this one, we have a oxygen bonded to a carbon on the left and right, and this is our ether. So our next compound This would be our ester, where we have our carbon double bonded to an oxygen, and then the carbon is bonded to an oxygen, and then the oxygen is bonded to another carbon. See? All right, our next structure. This guy is our anhydride being shown here. And we have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. And then this carbon is bonded to an oxygen. And then this oxygen is bonded to another carbon that is then also double bonded to a oxygen. All right, what do you think of this guy? So the one thing you should notice is our functional group is right here on the end of our compound. So this is an aldehyde. So you have a carbon bonded to a hydrogen and then double bonded to an oxygen. All right, and this one. So 
So this guy here is our ketone. It's in the middle of our compound here. And it is double bond, and the oxygen is double bonded to a carbon. All right. Here's our next structure. This should be an easy one. This is a lot of people's favorite structure. This is ethanol. And so our alcohol group right here on the end. So we have our carbon bonded to an oxygen. And the oxygen is then bonded to the hydrogen. All right. What do you think of this big guy over here? So the functional group is our nitrogen bonded to a carbon, and the carbon is double bonded to an oxygen. So this is our amide. Here's our next structure. So this is probably one of my favorite structures. I did a lot of work with this guy during my PhD thesis. So this right here is your amino acid cysteine. So what you have is you have your carboxylic acid over there. Here is your amine. And then on the end is your thiol. And we are now down to our last molecule. This guy here would be our thioester. Thank you for watching. I hope that was as informative for you as it was for me. And have a great day.